Have you ever dreamed of chickens that defy gravity? Of feathered colossi that dominate the coop with their mere presence? Have you imagined merging the imposing stature of a Brazilian giant with the exotic beauty of a Colombian jewel, creating hybrids that surpass all expectations? Today, we invite you on an amazing journey to the heart of large breed poultry, where two extraordinary breeds converge in a universe of genetic possibilities. Prepare to witness the majesty of the Indio Gigante, the Colossus of Brazil, whose strides defy the conventional height of a chicken, as you can appreciate in these impressive images. Imagine infusing that titanic genetics into your birds, creating more robust lines with higher meat yield and a presence that will leave everyone speechless. But the adventure doesn't end there. From the Colombian lands, the Millflor Gigante emerges, a symphony of colors and a considerably sized body. Have you ever wondered what would happen by combining its hardiness and lane potential with the imposing mass of the Brazilian giant? Visualize chickens with a solid structure, adaptability to your environment, and perhaps, eggs with shells of tones never before seen in your coops. In this video, we will not only introduce you to these two avian wonders, but we will also open a portal to genetic imagination. We will explore the dreamed crosses, the characteristics we could enhance, and the impact these breeds could have on your own quest for the perfect chicken. Are you ready to challenge the limits of what is possible and unleash the genetic potential that resides in these two fascinating breeds? Join us on this journey where greatness and beauty intertwine in the exciting world of the Indio Gigante and the Millflor Gigante. Now let's get to know these two extraordinary breeds more closely. Developed in Brazil through the artificial selection of crosses between large fighting breeds and local hens, the Indio Gigante stands out for its impressive height and weight. Initially bred for ornamental and productive purposes, today it is highly valued in exhibitions and for its genetic potential to increase size in other breeds. Originating from Colombia, the Millflor Gigante is the result of selective crosses of Colombian Creole breeds with foreign breeds, seeking to obtain large birds with a unique mottled plumage and good meat and egg production. This breed represents an effort to improve Colombian Creole poultry, combining hardiness with greater productive potential. While both breeds, the majestic Indio Gigante from Brazil and the unique Millflor Gigante from Colombia, share the attribute of a considerable size that distinguishes them from common poultry, their histories and characteristics take different paths from their very origin. The Indio Gigante, born from the strategic crossing of Asian fighting breeds such as the Chamo and the Malay, with the hardy Brazilian Caipira hens, stands as a pure breed with a well-defined lineage and a standard jealously guarded by breeders focused on its imposing stature. In contrast, the Millflor Gigante emerges as a Colombian collective project, a quest to enhance local Creole birds through the infusion of foreign genetics, prioritizing not only size but also the beauty of its thousand flower plumage and good aptitude for both meat and eggs. Speaking of its genetic legacy, the Indio Gigante directly refers us to the robustness and large build of its Asian fighting ancestors, qualities that manifest in its structure and, above all, in its impressive height. On the other hand, the Millflor Gigante draws from a more diverse source, combining the hardiness of Colombian Creole birds with the desired characteristics contributed by foreign breeds, which gives it remarkable adaptability to its local environment. Regarding egg production, both breeds prove to be decent layers, although with distinctive nuances. The Indio Gigante offers a rather peculiar range of shell colors, from white to blue and even green, with production that may vary slightly depending on the line, with taller birds sometimes being less prolific layers. In contrast, the Millflor Gigante leans towards medium to large-sized eggs, and the appearance of blue or green-shelled eggs in some of its lines adds a special appeal to its production. If we focus on weight, both giants live up to their name, although the scale leans slightly towards the Brazilian side in terms of maximum potential, especially in males. Indio Gigante roosters can reach remarkable weights, exceeding 9.9 .9 pounds kilograms, and reaching up to 13.2 pounds, 6 kilogram, in select specimens, while hens also exhibit a considerable build. Similarly, Millflor Gigante roosters exceed 8.8 .8 pounds, 4 kilogram, and can reach 11 pounds, 5 kilogram, or more, with hens also being more robust than standard breeds, although perhaps without the same maximum body mass as their Brazilian counterparts. Patience is key when waiting for the first eggs of these large breeds. Both share a later start to laying compared to commercial hens. The Indio Gigante usually starts around 7 months, reaching its full reproductive maturity a little later. Similarly, the Millflor Gigante begins its laying cycle between 6 and 7 months of age, 
Regarding temperament, we find a pleasant similarity. Both breeds are generally characterized as calm and docile, which facilitates their handling and makes them good options even for novice breeders. The Indio Gigante tends to show a protective but rarely aggressive character, while the Milflor Gigante adapts well to cohabitation in mixed groups and demonstrates calmness in the presence of humans. Finally, when comparing their size, the Indio Gigante takes the crown in terms of height, with males that can exceed 3.3 feet 1 meter tall and some elite specimens reaching truly impressive heights. This characteristic has consecrated it as the king of chickens in many poultry circles. While the Milflor Gigante also presents a notably larger size than common breeds, its focus is more on a robust and proportionate build, without reaching the imposing verticality of the Brazilian giant. In essence, both breeds offer us a fascinating window into the potential of genetic selection, each shaped by its history and the objectives of its breeders. The Indio Gigante dazzles us with its magnitude, a product of a focus on size and the heritage of fighting breeds, while the Milflor Gigante captivates us with its unique beauty and its adaptability as a proudly Colombian creation. But, fellow breeders, let's pause for a moment to contemplate an even more fascinating horizon. What happens when the imposing genetics of the Brazilian giant intertwine with the vibrant essence of the Colombian jewel? Imagine for a moment the encounter between the majestic Indio Gigante and the unique Milflor Gigante. What would dance in our coops? Perhaps birds that would inherit the robust structure of the giant, that presence that dominates with just a glance, but softened by the elegant shape that the Milflor brings. They might not reach the astonishing height of the pure Indio Gigante, but they would undoubtedly surpass most of the birds we know in size, standing as imposing sentinels in our henhouse. And the weight? Ah, the weight! Visualize males that combine the muscle mass of the giant with the solidity of the mill floor, perhaps exceeding 11 pounds, even approaching 15 pounds. Females, equally substantial, ranging from about 7.7 .7 to 11 pounds, offering a tangible promise for both the table and the continuity of the lineage. But what about the eggs? Here, imagination overflows. Let's think of a generous inheritance from both parent breeds, a synergy that gives us between 180 and 250 eggs per year. And the surprise, the color. Could we see the earthy palette of the giant, adorned with the unexpected blue or greenish tones that the mill floor sometimes gives us? A rainbow of life emerging from our coops? And the plumage, a canvas for fantasy. The solid base of the Indio Gigante's colors perhaps dotted with the intricate thousand-flower modeling of the Colombian, like the intricate beauty that the Milflor Gigante shows us in detail. Each feather, a unique brushstroke, creating birds that would not only be large but also of singular beauty, a fusion of strength and natural art. Regarding temperament, the calm and docility of both lineages suggest a curious but tranquil offspring, easy to handle birds that would integrate seamlessly into coop life. And hardiness. The resistance to the tropical climate of the giant combined with the adaptability of the Colombian Creole would speak of strong birds, capable of thriving in various environmental conditions. Do you visualize it, fellow breeders? Birds that carry the greatness of Brazil with the exotic beauty of Colombia, rewarding us with colorful eggs and an imposing presence? The cross between the Indio Gigante and the Mill Floor Gigante is not just a theory, it is an invitation to dream about the future of our poultry passion. What wonders could we unleash if we dared to unite these two genetic worlds? The answer is in our hands. And so, fellow breeders, we arrive at the threshold of a new dawn in poultry. We have explored the majesty of the Indio Gigante, the colossus that defies heights, and the singular beauty of the Milflor Gigante, the Colombian jewel of enchanting plumage. We have imagined, with the passion that unites us, the amazing possibilities that lie in the fusion of their genes. Visualizing a future where greatness and beauty dance together in our coops. This journey is not just about the size or the color of the eggs. It is about the incessant curiosity that resides in the heart of every breeder. It is the spark that drives us to observe, to select, to dream about the next generation. The Indio Gigante and the Milflor Gigante are not just breeds. They are invitations to genetic exploration, blank canvases, where we can paint our own visions of the ideal chicken. For those seeking a sustainable source of food in their homes, these breeds offer a promise of abundance, both in meat and eggs. For the visionaries who yearn to improve their Creole or carbon black strains, they represent a unique opportunity to infuse size, robustness, and perhaps a palette of colors never before seen. 
Do not fear experimentation, fellow breeders. Open your minds to the possibilities that these avian wonders offer. Observe your birds carefully, select wisely, and dare to cross with the audacity of those who know that the future of their passion is in their hands. The majestic Indio Gigante and the singular Milflor Gigante have shown us that the limits of what we thought possible are just the starting point. They are a reminder that nature, guided by our dedication and our imagination, can create wonders that surpass our wildest expectations. So raise your gaze towards your coops with a new perspective. See in every feather, like the intricate beauty that the Milflor Gigante shows us in detail, in every egg the potential of an even brighter future. Dare to dream big, to experiment boldly, and to unleash the genetic magic that resides in these extraordinary birds. What fascinating crosses between the imposing Indio Gigante and the exotic Milflor Gigante come to your mind? Leave us your ideas and dreams in the comments. The journey has just begun. The future of large breed poultry is in your hands. For your success, fellow breeder. Until the next one.